Alright guys, me and Evan are back with another Honda Grom wheelie tutorial for you. Today, we are covering a variation of a wheelie, or a combo, whatever you want to call it. We are covering one-handed wheelies on the Honda Grom. Just like that, what he just did. It's literally just this. Just that. Simple. So guys, if you haven't watched the first episode, I would definitely go check it out. Click the iCard up here. Watch that first. Watch it through and then come back to this video because you're gonna have to get at least the fundamentals down the speed the clutch up the brake the throttle all the good stuff and then you're gonna be ready for this video because this is kind of a what would you call it like Evan said this is pretty much probably the very first trick wheelie people learn after they get the basic wheelie down so Evan's gonna show you what we're talking about really quick with one handers it's pretty self-explanatory same idea clutch up and the hand's gonna come off. That's literally what we're gonna teach you. But within this wheelie, there's a lot more to it than you would think. It looks like it's just one hand and that's it. There's a lot more to it, so let's get into it. So once again, guys, like before, we're gonna go about, we're just gonna stick five miles an hour on the Honda Grom, good number. And we're gonna also just do the basic clutch up, just as always, nice and smooth. We're still gonna have the same throttle control and foot brake control as any other wheelie. But here's what we're gonna add for the one-handers, guys. One of the most important parts while you're learning is hooking that left foot underneath your foot peg. So we're gonna stop here for a second so you can get a good angle of this. Pretty self-explanatory again. You can see Evan has his foot underneath the peg. What that's gonna do is once you let go with your left hand, you're gonna feel some of your weight kind of transition into your left foot, and you're gonna use that to keep you your body from going too far back. Because we're all used to hanging on with two hands, you have a nice support there, but once you take a hand off, you're gonna notice you lose some of that support. So always make sure to keep your foot hooked there. Nice and solid, just like Evan has it right there. Perfect, perfect. The other most important tip with a one-handed wheelie, specifically while you're learning, is once you're up in your wheelie, we'll have Evan pop a nice slow wheelie really quick. With one-handers, it's good to lock your bars to the right because it's gonna give your bars a nice stable position. And guys, a good way to learn getting used to locking your bars to the right is master your normal wheelies and keep two hands on the bars and rotate them before you take your left hand off. See how Evan, he had the bars locked prior to taking his hand off. And then you gotta remember, since you're locking your bars to the right, once it is time to finally put the wheel down, you obviously need to make sure to straighten your bars back out so you can come down nice and smooth without any problems at all, just like Evan just did. We'll turn around here and have Evan wheelie one more time and keep his bars straight for you. As you can see, when they're straight, the bars aren't locked in, they're wobbly. So you don't have much of a support. Once again, as you're learning, it can be a little scary. So if you have your foot locked under the peg, have your bars locked to the right where they can no longer move, you're gonna feel a lot more locked in there and stable. And those are the two most important parts for your one-handed wheelies, guys. Most important parts. And now, let's pretty much just follow Evan really quick. We'll have him do one of his one-handed wheelies with the techniques we just talked about. It's pretty much the only techniques, guys, for the one-handed wheelie. It is really a beginner trick. Clutch up, comes up nice and smooth. If you watch carefully, you can see his transition to his foot under the peg. I'll get on this side of him. You can see his bars are locked in position. That's a good one-handed wheelie right there. He's still utilizing his foot brake, keeping his throttle smooth. Nailed that one. And to remember guys, once you get this down, if you don't want to lock your foot under the peg, you don't have to. If you don't want to lock your bars, you don't have to. Uh, me and Evan at this point, really it depends. Sometimes we lock our foot, sometimes we don't. Sometimes the bars are straight, sometimes they're not. But while you're learning, it's good to use these basic fundamentals so you can feel a little more confident with your one-handed wheelie. For any of you also wondering about body position, you can see his body pretty much stays the same as a normal wheelie, but he's really holding himself up with his abs since he only has one arm hanging on. And of course, he's also holding on with his left foot wrapped underneath the peg if you are using that technique, which we highly recommend specifically while you're learning. And then once you guys get confident with your one-handed wheelies, you can go ahead and throw your hand off the bar, do some peace signs, swag it out, grab your shirt, do whatever you gotta do. This is a fun trick, guys, so have fun with it. Hopefully these techniques we covered in the video will help you guys learn it fast. They're specific specifically geared towards the Honda Grom. <laughs> but you can also transform over to big bikes. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to like the video. Also follow me and Evan on Instagram, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next wheelie video. Peace. Better recognize a king when he rapping with you. You hold suck, it's like you always bring a vacuum with you. Silent like a mannequin, but you ain't plastic is you. Cause if you got a bone to pick, I got a matching issue. Talking about me, then it gotta be lost.